My lords, ten years ago I set out on a course of action that brings me here today. The facts are before you. Miss Wells came into this world with nothing, and she left it with nothing, is it? And in the intervening years, she amassed a considerable fortune. According to the terms of the will drawn up by her solicitor in his office and witnessed by his clerks, you see, the great bulk of that fortune was left to that solicitor. Did Miss Wells know that he was going to get it? And if she did, did she have full knowledge of the amount? My lords, for all his talk, Colonel Winton has not produced a shred of evidence that Miss Wells was unclear as to the effect of her will and the destination of her assets. Colonel Winton has a reputation as a troublemaker. What he does not have, it seems, however, is any training in law. This is quite evident in that he has obviously not understood the will or its implications. Precisely. And if I don't understand it, having studied it for ten years, would it be presumptuous to suggest that the elderly and somewhat simple Miss Wells did not understand it either, you see? Do you even understand it, my lords? Was it a will that was written to be understood? And Everything we've been trying to do for the last ten years. So it's very pleasing. I think we've got press on it. Yes. What do you plan for the future? Um, just have a rest now. Get into the garden and do a bit of coffee and mixing and that sort of thing. Thank you. My God. It's like the front wall over again. Tell me, Crown, what do you think of Elvis Presley, sir? Elvis who? Elvis Presley. Oh, I don't know the Jeff. Is he, is he, was he one of my men? Was he a trooper with you? Oh, it's a pop singer. Oh, it's a pop singer. No, I don't know about all that. What in the blue blazes have you been doing here, mate? They've all been cut to the same length. They should be stacked correspondingly, you see? They should be flush. And that one there, it's proud, there. That, yes, yes, yes. Are you all right, sir? Oh, I feel a little unwell, mate. I think I'll go inside. Yes, why don't you go inside, sir? And, and if you're thinking about making your will, sir, you will remember me, won't you? <laughs> you think I'm going to die, mate? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, my word. That is a sobering statement. <laughs> In that case, I'll charge you with a most solemn undertaking. Should I predecease you, you will arrange for the band of the Royal Dragoons to play for me in the Cavalryman's Chapel in Canterbury Cathedral, you see? Tell them it must be stanchion. Schubert serenade. Certainly, sir. It's just occurred to me. If neither the band nor the trumpeters are available, you'll, you'll have to sing the whole lot yourself, mate. Well, <laughs> well consider it done, sir. <laughs> if they let you in with that fungus all over your face. But they're all in Germany. The whole bloody lot of them. <laughs> Band. Trumpeters. <laughs> They've all gone. Well, I'd better be off then. Good luck.
woman. Woman treat he softly pleading through the night to thee. Say when all is calm and silent, dearest come to me. Whispering branches softly murmur through the moonlight clear. Through the moonlight clear. Let my pity then restore me, dearest thou art near. Oh, I tremble lest I lose thee, lest I lose thee. Come and bless me here. Come and bless me. Now, as well as the Bible and Shakespeare, you're allowed one book. Ah, yes. Well, I'd like a very large blank book uh, so that I could write in it, you see. Inexhaustible. And one luxury? Ah, yes. Well, I've been thinking about this. And what I'd like is a jolly good dog whip. 